things to do in Mexico. Mexico is a wonderland. One moment you're sipping smoky mezcal, and the next you're floating in the bluest of natural pools or being serenaded by mariachi singers while Frida Kahlo peers down from a mural. Things feel even more fantastic when you find the tastiest food while discovering plumed serpents, pyramids and millennia of history around the next corner. No matter how many times you visit, Mexico's stunning nature and its vibrant towns let you find an everyday life steeped in surrealism, natural wonders and incredible history. Here are some of the best experiences in Mexico. Feel the monumental power of a pyramid. Pyramids humble you. Gaze skywards at the Pyramid of the Sun at Teotihuacan and it's easy to feel tiny. It's the third largest ancient pyramid in the world, bringing the ancient priests closer to the heavens at its summit. No wonder the pyramids at Teotihuacan were chosen as temples for human sacrifices to the gods. The Aztecs did the same at the fascinating Templo Mayor at the heart of their empire, Tenochtitlan, modern-day Mexico City. Other pre-Hispanic civilizations like the engineering Mayans constructed pyramids to also be the center of public life. At Chichen Itza and Palenque they buried their powerful leaders inside them and used the monumental structures, pushing above the forest canopy, to navigate their lands. Similarly, in Toluma Mine Pyramid squats over the turquoise waters and was used as a lighthouse. Yet there is one even mightier pyramid in Mexico, the largest by volume in the world. The Pyramid G Tepanapu is bigger than the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Outside, it looks like a grassy hill, which fooled the Spanish conquistadors, sparing its destruction. Inside, it takes 15 minutes to walk through the cool tunnels crossing through the Pyramid of Cholula, and with each tight turn, you feel minuscule. Tap into the songs of Mexico with a mariachi performance. Mariachi bands have a song for every mood and life milestone. Happy, more trumpet. Somber, more strings and a heartfelt bolero style. Mexicans hire the singing troops for the big events, birthdays, weddings and funerals. They are not a mere tourist attraction, but a way to tap into the songs of Mexico. You'll find them roaming around major plazas from Merida to Cuernavaca. Planning tip, a top choice is Mexico City's Plaza Garibaldi, which has been bringing together restaurants and music since 1925. Get serenaded in Mariachi's Heartland in Guadalajara, which holds the world's largest mariachi festival each September at the Encuentro Internacional del Mariachi y la Charreria. Learn history through botany in Oaxaca history is palpable at the Jardín Etnobotanico. You can stain your hands bright red with cochineal from the prickly pear cactus. At its height, the smushed bug blood was used to dye garments for Europe's elite, giving the Spaniards wealth second only to silver. The storyteller guides at the garden explain how indigenous people used plants for clothing, shelter, food, rituals and medicine. A fascinating story brings to life Mayan mythology, which saw the Ceiba tree as the universe itself, with its roots in the underworld and the peculiar thorns on the trunk representing the people. Cycle around Mexico City's leafy neighborhoods Bike lanes are plentiful across Mexico City's most fashionable neighborhoods of Condesa, Roma and Artsy Coyoacan. Archways of trees guide you down streets lined with elegantly tiled houses and boutique stores. Parks are alive with young families or teenagers practicing dance moves, while around their edges, the well-dressed lounge about at cafes. Planning tip, every Sunday, the main avenues of the country's capital turn into a car-free zone. Cyclists go for pleasure rides, and you can join in any time with a free or low-cost bike rental. Take dance lessons Mexicans have the music in them and just trying to dance is a part of the Mexico experience. Dressed in hats and heels or casual clothes, couples take to the outdoor Plaza Chudadela in Mexico City every Saturday to dance, mingle and learn to salsa and do the dance on. It's open to the public, but if you need some courage, there are also bars around town to learn to dance for the cost of a tequila. 
Atanegra con Desu is small and intimate, just the way the sociable dancers like it, while Mama Rumba turns out a show with its live big band. Planning tip. If you want to seriously move, Salon de Bales Los Angeles is part school, part legend and where stars of Mexico's golden age of cinema, like Canton Flass and Maria Felix, went to boogie. Float in blue subterranean cenotes to the Mayans, the cenotes were a portal to speak to the gods, so they built villages around them. For a visitor today, the natural limestone swimming holes are wondrous hidden pools to cool off in the jungle. Cenotes are created by the collapse of porous limestone bedrock, forming pools that are filtered to crystal clarity. Underwater photographers, cavers and snorkelers revel in the clear cenotes, as do swimmers who want a peaceful swim shielded by the glorious tree canopy. Unlike seawater, the turquoise water in cenotes is fresh and wonderfully mineral rich. Floating in these still waters feels like slipping into prehistory. Look up at the columns of vines and the shafts of sunlight drifting through. Hummingbirds zigzag by and it seems like little has changed since the Maya were here. Planning tip, the majority of cenotes are found in the Yucatan Peninsula. Eat your fill of Mexican street food do you want to know where to get the best tacos? It's not in a white tablecloth restaurant. It's on the street. There is something special about feeling the red hot embers on the pyramid of char grilling pork that makes tacos al pasta tastier at places like El Vilcito. It could be the sizzling hot plate that gives handmade quesadillas stuffed with zucchini flowers or nopales, cactus, the perfect bite. Or the tubs of self-serve salsas that make soaps, sprinkled with white vanilla cheese and lettuce, and tlatoyos, diamond-shaped blue corn parcels of beans and meat, much feistier, and tastier, than you had intended. It's definitely the freshly cut limes and impromptu chats that give eating Mexican street food that extra zing. Mexican foodie capital Oaxaca squeezes some of the best street food into market stands at Mercado 20 de Noviembre. Planning tip, to find the freshest and tastiest street food, pause at a stand and observe, the best have a hissing comal, hot plate, where even the smoke smells alluring. Homemade sauces will be on display that glisten with life. And customers who have barely finished one taco will eagerly order another. You can see all of this on display at Los Cucos and the vegan Porci Empre Vegana Taqueria in Mexico City. Glide along the canals of floating Aztec gardens in Xochimilco Xochimilco, south of Mexico City, is the only remaining part of pre-Hispanic waterways. Colorful wooden Trajinera boats glide across the canals, passing Chinampas, floating gardens. Fruit, vegetables and flowers grow atop garden beds constructed from reeds. Over 500 years ago, the mighty Aztec city of Tenochtitlan ruled from an island in interconnected lakes. The Aztecs balanced a complex system of brackish and fresh water. As you float by, imagine Xochimilco in Aztec times, with gardeners tending to the plots of green bean vines, furry purple amaranth and plump chilies and tomatoes to feed the city, as it still does today. Experience a 3,000-year-old Temescal ceremony. A Temescal is more than a sauna, it's an ancient Mayan Zopotec ritual that uses 3,000 years of indigenous cultural knowledge as medicine. A shaman guides you through a ceremony inside a dome while you sit in a circle, giving you the kind of experience that people swear is life-changing. In the semi-darkness, the shaman throws a herbal infusion sizzling on the pit of hot rocks at the center. The dialogue begins between the shaman and other participants, thanking the earth, acknowledging our connection to the villages of animals and nature. Sometimes the guide intones words in the indigenous Nahuatl language. This is no touchy-feely session. Warriors endured this ritual before battle to steal them. After 90 minutes of building resilience and releasing toxins, both physical and mental, you emerge and dip into cold pools, cleansing yourself. Planning tip. For a real Temescal experience, not just a sauna, follow spirituality seekers to Tepetzlan, or get the full picture on the Zopotec civilization in Oaxaca. We loves Quindu in Huatulco for its full pre-Hispanic ceremony and mural.
get some insight into Frida Kahlo's artistic life bottles filled with paint glisten in their tray next to an easel. It feels like the artist has just stepped out. Artisanias, handicrafts, from across Mexico sprawl out across the rooms, waiting, clay fertility figures, papier-mâché skeletons and dangling cherubs. The blue house is where Frida was born, lived and spent her last days, with everything as she left it. The artist's silver jewelry, short bed, crutches, wheelchair and prosthetic leg are here. Frida had a lifelong disability and channeled her physical and emotional pain into her art, while showcasing pre-Hispanic art and traditions. Frida famously wore traditional dresses and shawls from Oaxaca to summon the female power of the women of her mother's hometown. There are other interesting places in Mexico City to trace Frida's life. To be here, though, in her house and courtyard of volcanic stone, is to feel her passion for Mexico and its people. It's an unmissable insight into her life and her art. Travel through Mexican history at a museum Mexico City alone has over 150 museums, beating New York City or Paris. So some of them are makeshift and obscure, torture museum anyone? Dash but the whole of Mexican history can be found in its museums, from indigenous handicrafts to revolution, human rights and tequila. The headline act is Museo Nacional de Antropología, which is one of the best in the world with a dramatic giant water feature at the center of its Mayan-inspired courtyard. Mexico's top male painters are known as the Big Three Muralists. Made to be seen by the average Mexican worker, murals by Diego Rivera, Jose Clemente Orozco and David Sequeiros grace many public buildings. All three daub the patio walls of Antigo Colegio de San Ildefonso and inside the splendid Palacio de Bellas Artes, notably Diego Rivera's monumental El Hombre en el Cruz de Caminos, Man at the Crossroads. Other museums cater to specific tastes, like the Museo del Calzado Shoe Museum, which displays the trainers of Mexican football heroes, and replicas of Neil Armstrong's Luna Boot. Mark the Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead once a year, the spirits of the dearly departed can follow a path of marigold petals back to their loved ones. Altars are piled with their favorite dishes and objects and photos of the deceased are lit by candlelight and shrouded in incense smoke. Far from a withdrawn sad time, Dia de Muertos, Day of the Dead, is a time of remembrance through joy. It's been this way for over 3,000 years and the tradition can be traced back to Aztec customs and the even more ancient Olmecs. Planning tip, visit Mexico at the end of October, and you'll see the nights turn festive as people crowd the squares, businesses and museums to judge the best decorated altars. In towns like Nailingo, Potscuro, and Mixquick, mass processions drift to the cemeteries for a night of drinking and singing. Tagging along at respectful distance is accepted and the sight of thousands of candles and marigold flowers glowing orange into the night is a true Mexican experience. Devour some mole of all the attention-grabbing Mexican dishes, mole is the most intriguing for its complex mix of herbs and spices. Cocoa and three kinds of chilies give the sauce a chocolatey warmth, but mole contains a checklist of over 15 ingredients including sesame seeds, aromatic herbs, peanuts and cumin. In Puebla it is eaten in restaurants tiled in hand-painted blue talavera. Planning tip. Oaxaca is known for its seven multicolored moles. The star is mole negro, a smoky black sauce that differentiates itself with a hit of Oaxaca Santu or sacred leaf, which tastes somewhere deliciously between licorice and eucalyptus. Mole is best smothered over chicken or enchiladas, tortillas filled with cheese or chicken. Experience everyday Mexican life in a market boisterous piñatas dangle above you. Flowers and mangoes perfume the air, while fat sacks of spices and mounds of dried chilies beckon you. On a balmy day, the cool of a Mexican market is an inviting wonderland of fruit salad stands, old world barber shops, and storekeepers touting woven baskets and virgin candles. A mercado, market, is where everyday Mexican life happens without the airs and graces, no matter if you're in a posh neighborhood or mountain village. In the one market you might smell wafts of incense float and pork crackling glistening under heat lamps. 
This is where you can eat alongside families or get nuts and chili lime grasshoppers for the road. Taste delicious Mexican fruit like honey almond flavored mamey, and tuna, prickly pear fruit, blended into juice. Every walk through a Mexican market is an adventure. Support Mexican artisans Mexican artisanias, handicrafts, can be gorgeous or just charm you with their sweetness. Hold up a piece at a workshop and you are also grasping centuries of skill and traditions. A psychedelic beadwork mask might leap out at you. The pulsing colors carry on the mythology of the Huichol of Jalisco. Or look into Tosco silverware, which shimmers with history, first as silver gifts to Aztec arts, then ransacked for Spanish pockets. The kaleidoscopic work of generations of embroiderers, pre-Hispanic weavers, were harken potters and metalsmiths tell the diverse story of Mexico. It's worth picking up a piece from an artisan to contribute to their stories. Visitor Magic Town Mexico has over 132 Pueblos Mágicos, and they truly feel like magic towns. In each place you can still experience the beauty of traditional Mexican life. Many of the towns have a leafy socolo piazza or square at their center where families or lovers laugh, whisper and enjoy a weekend or long summer evening outdoors. What makes them magical is not just that they're lookers, most are, but they maintain some natural or historical charm. For example, in Tosco, where silver was mined by Aztecs and Spaniards alike, all white retro VW taxis crisscross its cobblestones. In lovely Papantla, people come for the spectacle of seeing the voladors whirl around a maypole, attached only by their feet. Lounge on beaches without the crowds if you want to swim alongside Mexicans, not just tourists, head to the coast of Oaxaca. Huatulco has 36 golden sand, warm beaches to enjoy in peace. In Puerto Escondido, Playa Carrizalillo Beach is a jewel in a sheltered cove, reached by steep steps to deter most tourists. Maybe it just has to be the Yucatan Peninsula's Riviera Maya. We get it, the clear blue ribbon of water and white sand is enticing, and you can still escape the crowds. If you're stuck in the overdeveloped parts of Cancun and Tulum, follow the locals to a spacious public beach. At Playa del Carmen, the beach runs adjacent to Fifth Avenue where all prices are in US dollars, yet step back an ear two blocks away from the souvenir strip and life seems preserved from another era. Eat at an unpretentious garden restaurant. Drink at a wooden shack bar and stroll across squeaky sand into the warm arms of the Caribbean. Enjoy a steaming hot tortilla at a tortilleria. One of Mexico's simplest pleasures is hearing the squeak of a neighborhood tortilleria, tortilla maker. Mesoamericans unlocked the secret of nixtamalization over 3,500 years ago, ramping up the nutrition and turning corn into tortillas. For a passerby, the magic is in seeing the steaming hot tortillas parade down the conveyor belt and be bundled up in paper for a waiting line of locals. There are tortillerias every few blocks in most neighborhoods. Planning tip, you can count on a Mercado, fresh produce market, to have at least one tortilleria on the streets immediately around it, such as Mexico City's Mercado Medellin, where you will find several. To subscribe travel and taste channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.